it looks a little rainy. That was intense. Oh no. Sorry, my friend. We are off. It's uh, pretty windy. Gotta do safety first here. Monty, look at you. Are you are you on a camping trip, Monty? Do you want to go for? Do you want to treat the dog park? You go, boy. Yeah, look at you. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with first mate Peanut Mutter and uh, first mate Pe <laughs> first mate Pete Poops McToots, uh, Funk Naren, and we are going to spend four nights out here in the wilderness. And as you can see. It is clearly fall time in October. <sighs> yeah, it's 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 like a record high right now. It's like 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is something Celsius, but it is insanely hot. I think in four days we're gonna get to experience summer and fall at the same time, but it is my favorite time of year. It is fall. And I really didn't want it to be this warm, but as it got closer, it just got warmer and warmer. And now we're just in shorts. We might go swimming later. I don't know, but the wind is crazy. Uh, we just had to battle a whole bunch of wind. They both got sucked down to where they couldn't turn their boats, no matter how hard they tried. So they had to go all the way to a far shore and then finally come back around. But anyways, we're hoping to uh, catch some fish, cook up some delicious food, and spend a few nights out here. It's uh, Aaron's first time out here camp doing a canoe trip like this and uh captain teeny trout let her borrow his boat so that was nice of him he's such a swell guy <laughs> um so like usual we got an early start a 5 20 a.m early start it was so early that this feels like the same day as yesterday because I didn't sleep last night because I'm such a procrastinator that it took me all night to pack and uh, 
Aaron had to help drive. <laughs> so I tried to doze off in the back. So I'm barely alive right now. I'm just living on sunshine and, and uh, wilderness vibes. It's enough. It's enough to get me there. So, if you're wondering why I got Ruger in the boat, it's because I am the most experienced paddler of the group, and Ruger is a little, as you can see, he's standing once again, and when they're standing, they're a little more tippy, and Ruger's just shifting left and right. He needs to, he needs to be able to see those guys, so uh, he just keeps shifting, and that's harder for fun because she doesn't paddle as much. So she gets Monty because Monty, you know, he knows what he's doing. He just he just plops that booty down and he's just living life. Burger. Burger. He's getting used to it. He just needs more time out here. It's fine when it's not windy, but when we got into some of those waves and he's standing like that, I had to I had to tell him to sit. So the weather for the trip, it's gonna be like it's like 84 today. Tomorrow's gonna be like 75, 80. Then the next day is gonna be like 60 with a good chance of rain. Then it's gonna be like low 50s with a good chance of rain. Then it's gonna the last day is gonna be like 47 with a good chance of rain. So it's gonna transition from uh, summer to fall in four days in fall time. So it's like a last hurrah right into a cold rainy fall. I hope we get a nice rainy day. I hope we get a thunderstorm. I hope we see some moose, wolves, bear, bear so. And another thing I just want to say quickly before we get right into the venture is that Monty has a message. Hey guys, Monty here, and I just want to say thank you. Thanks to you guys, I am the winner of the 2023 calendar cover contest. Thanks to you guys, I have won every competition I have ever entered, and never will enter, because I'll never enter another competition again. I could not have done this without you. You guys help me understand that when I'm faced with a challenge, I can fight it and come out on top. You've helped teach me that not every treat is as tasty as it seems, but if you search long enough, you can come out with a delicious prize. I do know one thing though, that I have no idea how you can get one of these calendars for yourself, because I am mutt, I am dog, and dogs don't use computers. So now I'll leave it to my dad to blab you all the details about it. I'm Monty, and I approve this message. That's right. Uh, Monty has won. Thanks to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It is, uh, yeah. We're pretty happy about that. Uh, so, I ordered, I think I ordered like 40. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to, some of the top donors, I'm gonna just send send you guys one. I just gotta figure out how to find that information out. So that's gonna take a while. I think the last day to order them is like October 15th to order the Monty calendar. I'll put a link down in the description, but yeah, I ordered a bunch. Um, I actually talked to them and I made an Instagram post about it and they were they were confused on what to do with international orders because they've never had international orders before. I talked to like the president or something and they, they just didn't know what to do. So I thought that was pretty funny. So anywho, we're just getting right into it. We're about to get to the, we're gonna go through some islands here, then we gotta go to a big part of the lake. We've got one porch today. It's a pretty easy going trip. Um, this part is the biggest paddle. Since we only got four days, I didn't. I wanted to keep the porches nice and small. I don't want to get to where we can catch some good fish and just have a nice, you know, good first trip for Aaron and a nice casual one for me and Funk. You know, just really enjoy. So anyways, I have been blabbing far too long. I'm going to get off all this time. Right, Rugus? surface right here uh, that is I gotta fix that later I couldn't resist the temptation nope all right 
right. I just, I, 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 I was, it was out of my hands. I mean, it was in my hands, it was out of my hands. I, there's, when, you, when a fish surface is right, I mean, there's nothing you can do. It's, it's fish surface, cast, hope. I pretty much black out. on the right, the right edge, or the left edge, that's where we're aiming at. But I think we're gonna cut through to the islands to the right. Anyways, uh, we have got roughly two hours of light left. And we don't think we're gonna make it as far as we planned, so we're gonna try to get a big chunk of the paddling across this big windy lake. We just ate a bunch of snacks. And now we're gonna go and try to battle the wind and get across close to the portage. and. If we have enough time, we'll do the portage and find a campsite. If we don't, we're just gonna camp somewhere near the portage. And we will take care of it tomorrow and have a little bit of a longer day. So as, as I was chatting, I uh, took a turn and I kinda got a little, little turned around there. So we weren't where I thought I was. Now we know where we are, and uh, now we're about to cross the big windy part of the lake. And there's still a chance we might finish the portage tonight and head to the other lake. But we'll just have to see how long this takes across the big part of the lake in this wind. It's gonna be a fun paddle, that's for sure. Yeah, have a big old island blocking the wind before we get out to that open. That's gonna be that island, that's that. All right, so see the island in the middle, that little peanut? Uh, we're going to the left of that. So we're gonna cut to the right of this front island and go straight in the line. Oh, yeah? You're like from me to you. Oh, oh dang. Dang, I should have gave I should give you a GoPro. Big, too. Big boy. Hold on to your bets. We don't need to muscle this one at. We're going into the hand. I think uh, I'm leaning towards staying here. 
Yeah, and then we can collect firewood in the in the sun. We will, if we if we continue on, we'll be setting up in the dark. So let's get up in between these islands and get fully out of the wind. Check the maps, and then we'll pick out a spot. All right, so we are deciding to stay on this lake tonight because if we keep going, we're going to be setting up in the dark. So we're just going to pick a spot here and just get out because my butt's numb. Uh, yeah, Ruger's got to pee, Funk's butt's numb, and we just, we just need to find a spot to go. So we're just going to get out here in a sec, figure out our lives. I mean, my booty is numb. Num, 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 num. Yeah, so as we we're getting going to get out, there's a campsite right here with a view of the sunset. We just got to see if we got room for us. It's not bad. Oh, oh, it looks like oh, we got good wind protection. Oh yeah, we're we're staying here. One person can set up here. There's a second spot there. There's a third spot there. I think this is going to be home for the evening. I said I think this is going to be home for the evening. We got good wind protection for the fire grate. Yeah, we're going to get out. We've got, let's see, judging by where the sun is and looking at the time, we got maybe an hour of sunlight. So we're going to just kind of simmer for a minute here. Then we got to get firewood because we've got a special dinner we got to cook. It is me and Funk's traditional dinner for our first night of any canoe camping trip. I kind of stuck my leg out there. I think he does do it on purpose. We're just uh, getting set up here. Scraped myself. I grabbed a few pieces of wood to process up. Got some firewood. Um, Funk was setting up the tent. Uh, I'm getting some water going. Ruger and Montier waiting over six here and uh ah. yeah sun's about to set so we're just kind of getting getting all put together here quick so we can sit down and enjoy the sunset and spark up a fire but i think i gathered plenty of pieces to uh get this going so i'm gonna get get to processing this up here once i finish this water Unladylike fuck. How dare you? Oh my god, I missed the sunset because I was dinking around with your camera. <laughs> I missed it! Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's set it is set. set. It is set. You can't it's, it is set. It's over. There'll never be a sunset on this day again, ever. Okay, Rooks. Watch out. Watch out, Rooks. Get back. You know, I, I just never, sometimes I don't feel safe in Crocs with swinging an axe anymore, in shorts. Something about it just doesn't feel safe. But they are camo, so that adds to the, you know, I'm probably going to be fine because they're camo. You're pretty much invisible. Except for that one beaver stick that pierced my foot. That was oh, my that was first... Oh, you weren't wearing. Yeah, fillet knife into my middle of my foot was just meat. barefoot. Yeah, I took a bunch of people fishing, and 
I may or may not, but did have a few beers and was flaying up a bunch of pike that we caught because they, they all never went fishing and I took them out and I set, there was like a log in the ground and there was like a, a drop on one side of the log and the ground had been up to the other side. So it was like that much of a drop and I laid my fillet knife up like that against the log and I came and stepped and the knife went deep enough into my foot, I think it hit the bone or something that it stuck, a super sharp fillet knife. And I had, I kicked it out and it like, oh, couldn't walk for a long time, like, well. Gives me the heebie-jeebies thinking about it. Dang it! My aim is off. Every single one. Good enough. Let's see if my phone's monstrous. I only took what I needed, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you can't let it go. I was kind of judging that bundle of sticks. <laughs> that was my bundle of sticks. That's why when I set my sticks down, I just I was like, this is my bundle of sticks. They're helping, look. They were great. They were They're great. Thank you. I've never not started a fire when I was trying to, yeah. so there's more than one way. Sometimes the chunkier sticks need love too. Yeah. Try. There's only one way to start a fire. Matthew Combust combustible ma materials. I like it better when Matthew does the fire. <laughs> Should we get the blowtorch guy from Kelsey and Logan Flooding? Oh my god. Oh that my guy god. needed help. <laughs> Emotionally. Yeah. Let me do Monty, don't come at me like that. We're going to have to give him a little fat. Erin is cutting up Brussels. Yeah, that's that's a lot of Brussels. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know if we can eat all these. We can save some for fish tacos if we make those. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, that's a waste. That's too much. All right, that's good. That's plenty. We should probably save some potatoes too. Yeah, we definitely can. At this moment, I'm happy. Oh no. Hmm. I got poop. Oh. Why don't you? And then she's got some garlic. She cut up. 
Those look like hard boiled eggs. I like them just nice and It's just precious. Where so don't do that. Where's my? Why are you so wet? Why are you so wet? Ruger, did you get wet? Did you get wet? So you're gonna add some salt. Not too much salt. Not too little salt. Just the right amount of salt. Black pepper. Do we got butt hair? Yes. Oh yeah, we gotta add some butt hair. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? I touched it and the whole thing fell apart. Alright, we got the potatoes and onions and garlic and brussels and things going on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you're not doing anything. I am so. doing something. Um, so okay. nope, don't even have to tell me. I'm doing something. Work on cleaning up your I'm doing, doing something. Doing <laughs> you don't even have to. You're doom piles. No. <laughs> Those are not doom piles. Everything you touch is a doom pile. Those are mouse feet. You know what a doom bag is in? So where's your sleeping bag? In my bag, probably? In my bag, probably. Alright, where's the Montreal? Montreal! Oh my gosh, why did it come out so fast on that one? Alright, alright, we gotta flip these and like with the spatula like now. Why do you have tongs, babe? Oh! You gonna save that steak. It's... This is why tongs are so important. They'll literally... How many times are you going to flip it? Uh, more than normal. Okay. Because the grates will just burn the... It's, it's, it's... I see. Yeah. It looks good though. Oh my gosh. It is so hot, I need to do a walk off. Do you need, um... It burns so much. Um, why don't you kick the fire down? All the hair is singed off my hand. <laughs> knock the flames down. Oh! <laughs> Use that stick and knock the flames down so we're not burning the steak. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You do not need to do all that. Here, use this with in conjunction with your spatula. Using more salt. Oh. Okay. like those crunch to them. Okay. What? Oh wait, you don't like a crunch to them? Oh yeah, crunch, yeah. Like Yeah, they're good then. More raw than overcooked. Yeah, you have to is what I prefer. Okay. Well, these definitely need more salt. Oh! You're going to literally burn yourself. Oh, I I did just there. Stop. You're not able to that. Use the bunk's fork. Yeah, why don't you use My pain is your pleasure. You're laughing. <laughs> I see it. Only because it's ridiculous. I know he's going to grow into this old man with these burnt, nerve-damaged fingertips. And he's not going to be able to see Oh, it. that is definitely burnt. I don't have hair on my fingers. It's all burned. <gasps> that is naked. Oh my, there is no hair there. <gasps> there is literally no hair there. Yeah, it's probably on our steak. Definitely could be. Could be a little raw still. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Alright, I don't need care. Um, my hand is so burnt. I need to wash it before I eat my steak because it's like got raw steak on it. That and it's got burnt hair all over it. I 
I feel like you burned yourself. Oh, it's hot. Oh, why is everything? Monty just decided to eat. Sorry. <laughs> Pause it. They're already burned, so they're just going to hurt every time you touch them with hot. I just touched this and it's on fire. This thing is on fire. I am, I am, I, I can't. I can't. My spork. Probably died. Go ahead, Reese. Right. Go ahead. I'm very tired. I am hungry. Mm. I have burnt hands. <laughs> Word to the wise, Aaron. <laughs> this is so funny. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh my god, my my stick is on fire. What? I forgot I put my stick on fire. Right, Ribeye, Brussels, potatoes, onions, garlic. Mm hmm. I'm glad we're here right now. I don't want to redo the part where I didn't sleep. Me neither. Had to drive and then fight Monty for space in the back. And then paddle into the wind. <laughs> like this is this is great right now. Mm -hmm. I would, I feel like everything would have been better if I would have planned ahead better. If somebody with my life would help me. It's the funniest thing you've ever said. Thank you so much. Monty, look at that gaping hole that you call a mouth. Whoa, like I dropped my fork and look at it. <laughs> Do I just put it to the off position? Oh, don't you do it. Hey, Steve. Don't you do Can it. Can I pet you? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Ruger! <laughs> He's right there. Ruger tried to eat him. Ruger? Roberts. What are you doing? Roberts. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Figure out your lives. Why is choice Monty? Mm -hmm. You kind of stole something that isn't yours. We ate good. I'm just so tired. There is some lightning going on. The moon's out, but I gotta go to bed. We're gonna just pass out. I can't think anymore. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Yeah, that's it.
Funk fought the law and the law won. <laughs> That's not telling. What does that tell? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> uh, it's morning. It's windy. It's very windy. Um, also, uh, Aaron doesn't, hasn't done a lot of canoeing, and all that paddling, the way her arms are on fire. <laughs> My fingers are a little stiff. Funk's fingers are very Never stiff. She got some blisters. I don't know if we're gonna make it to where we were planning. We're gonna get our tent figured out. So, we're gonna have to discuss our plans here. Yeah. It's just too windy. And on top of that, with everyone being a little sore. I also slept like a rock last night. It's time to get up. Let's do it. Uh. How's it going down here? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't think we're getting to Ogie today. That's that's pretty windy. Coffee. So plans are changing because of the weather and you know as things develop and you got a little stinky Monty here. Oh, Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's a big doggy. He's hungry. He's hungry for breakfast. Like Hurry, he's gonna breakfast. make some breakfast. Let's kick off the coffee Gobiel Q sequence thing. <laughs> oh, I might have put too much water in there. You always oh. do. Oh, dude, look Why at that. Why you guys also put your steak back on and I did not? Ah, uh, she could have <laughs> ate raw steak. Soupy. It's, it's, look at it. It's pretty good. I know. Yeah, it's, you can have, you know, rice and beans, you know, several hours after you start cooking. Yeah, if you just good. wait 45 minutes. Yeah, if you just wait. You then we're going to put a little hot beans. sauce in there. Yeah. I feel like I always overdo it. I mean, considering how it looked in the beginning, I, I, I can. 
Yeah. <laughs> so the plan for today is we're gonna move, we're gonna basically move to the lake we wanted to get to last night. And then, uh, this is definitely gonna change the dynamic of the trip because uh, we were gonna get to a lake where we could catch walleye, bass, pike, um, there's even white fish. And now we're going to a lake that I don't really know what's in it. Maybe just pike. But we're going to assume there's walleye and bass. We're going to try to just fish. I just don't know if I've ever had luck. I don't know. So we don't know how fish dinner is going to go. We've got a plan for maybe two fish dinners. But we've got backup spaghetti. Homemade spaghetti that I made myself. And uh, I'm just gonna play it by ear, but it's super windy. Uh, we're gonna get back out there. I'm just gonna eat some of this breakfast here. We're gonna pack up. Yeah, we all slept like 12 hours last night. We went to bed early. I slept like a rock. Apparently I just don't even remember like, I woke up or something and did some, something. I don't know. My brain's not fully working yet. We're getting there. I do feel fairly energized now. Like, compared to yesterday, Fun? Yeah, I was, um, I was struggling yesterday. No sleep will do that to me. It was, it was rough. And my butt was so numb in my seat. Yeah. Driving yesterday was terrible. <laughs> I did not like that. I don't, I don't drive tired. If I get tired at all, I immediately pulled over, but Aaron was willing to help out. Funk was not willing to drive. Funk got <laughs> zero minutes of sleep. Thanks to Matthew. Funk blames me for not being able to sleep, but I have I to kind of agree. I tried preparing for this trip for two weeks, and he likes waiting until the very last day. And I had to work all weekend, so I expected to come home and just pack up my gear bag and my food bag. But that did not happen until 4 a.m. I do the same thing every time. I don't I don't know how. I just do it. Every time. Isn't that the definition of everything? Doing the same thing over and 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 over is he just humping his brother's yes. face? Have they been going like that at each other for morning? I'm gonna finish up my breakfast. Gets to packing. And then we're gonna get to that water and get to paddling, portaging, and fishing. Like we always do. Right, Funk? Right. Get it. Oh, we got it! Nice, Ruger. Oh, good job. Thanks for this boy. Good job. Doing it, buddy. All right, get it. Come on. Today's mission, we're going to stay there, is to catch a fishing. I need to glue this so bad, or tape it or something. That thing is so annoying. Yeah, we need to catch some fish for dinner. If we don't, we'll be eating vegetarian food, which is the worst thing you could eat. Gotta have some meat. It would be, it would, we might as well just eat cardboard. How you doing? Good. All right, let's ride. Yeah. We're gonna just paddle over there, get to the other lake, and then we're gonna try to find some fish and see what, we don't even know what's in the other lake. I hope there's walleye. I doubt there's bass. I know there's gonna be pike, but we'll see. Oh, 
Oh, I feel so well rested. Good puppy. That's a good puppy, isn't that a puppy? Isn't that a puppy? Hold on. Alright, come on. Good boy. Filter some water. Fill up a Nalgene here. Anybody need to use this filter for water? Um, okay. Yeah, I got my filter. I've got liquid IV. They only had grape, unfortunately, so that's okay. Got some snacks. I got some deli mustard gardettos with the garlic rye chips added to it. Got myself a couple of granola bars. And also, a new thing I'm trying that I got is walkie-talkies. I want to kind of later see how far we can go, but they should last the whole trip on what one trip. Say? I said you like taking poops in the morning. I am a morning pooper. Should we go around this peninsula? Well, yeah, I think that's where we got to go. Anyways, it's kind of nice having walkie-talkies. I've always wanted them, but they're not waterproof. They're like water resistance. They're more weight made for winter. Um, but I'm just, my biggest concern is when you get into the woods, you know, they might work great on the lakes. Like if I'm far out on the lake, I can communicate. But uh, if I put a bunch of stuff in between, that's, you know, we'll see. We, they just need to be tested out. And I went out to visit Kate, Ken and Jake. That's what they used. Um, up in the mountains so they last a long time on one charge so that's why they're kind of cool 
and they last in cold weather on a single charge. So I would like to check how long they last and it'd be just a kind of nice system. I need to get some kind of system where I can put it right here, you know, and have it be waterproof. I guess not waterproof, just if, you, if you're gonna drop it in the water, then that's your fault, but rain at least, rainproof, so you can have it on when it's wet. open area where we can set up our big tarp and hammocks. So we're going to be spending two nights at the next campsite and it's probably going to rain here. So we want wind protection. We want the whole whole nine yards. You know, so we're just going to paddle around here in the wind. How long does this go on for? Oh, we're going to be... Ah! Actually, it's not too bad. We just got to make it to a point up ahead. And then we're gonna dock behind an island. seem to die down just like all of a sudden stopped found a campsite that we might pick because we wanted something with trees. We've got trees. Looks like we... Looks like if we go right here... We all anchor to this tree right here. And then we go hammock, hammock, hammock. And then we just tarp... We gotta tarp it off. It should be long enough, and then we just, we make our tarp city right here, so no one can tent here. Well, we could do one tent right there. Yeah, this will work. You guys want to stay here? All right. Yeah, I love my auntie. Boy. 
are so great. Oops, sorry, Riggs. Riggs. Up, up. Come on. Up, up. Oh, oh. Come on, Riggs. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Oh. Hey, Monty. Up, up. Come on. Up, up, Monty. Up, up. Up, up, Monty. Come on. Up, up. Up, up, Monty. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Come on. Up, up. Come on. Up, up. See, Monty may not prefer this. Oh, he doesn't mind. Especially oh. if you're going to feed him little treats. <laughs> Good boy, Monty. Monty, hey, Frankie. Good boy, Monty. It's like, I'll do anything for treats. And that you're not like laying on a rock or yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no no no. no, no. no you're good. this on the right? Just a little bit. Is that too much? Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot? A what? <laughs> a taint taco? Did you say taint taco? It's a pink taco. A pink taco? What's a pink taco? <laughs> you can't use any of this. I can use what I want. Jumped into it. 
Jeez, Monty. Yeah. Monty almost just sacrificed my camera to the lake. Monty! Bring me a stick, Monty! Monty! No. Go get him, Monty. Go get him. Go get him. You gotta bring me a stick, bud. Hi Rugus. Hi Rugus. Have a nice life, Rugus. It's like, oh, we're going down. Come with Rugus. Hi, buddy. I'll see you, Rugus. Good boy, Rugus. He's like. Wait! You gotta let you gotta let me in. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so uh, me and Aaron are heading out fishing. We're gonna. There's an island over here, and it's pretty calm on the this side, so we can kind of tuck in and go for some fish. I'm not exactly sure what kind of fish are in this lake. I the only one I don't think there is is bass. Although there could be bass, I could be wrong. I, I, I just, honestly, I just have no clue. But I, I have to assume there's pike at least. Then I think there's wall or lake trout because there's a lake that's attached to this that runs into it that has lake trout. So I, there's got to be lake trout in it. And I just feel like it has walleye. Because I think it's also attached. Maybe it does. I don't really know. But I'm going to just assume it does. Anyways, we're going to bust out the chartreuse slayer and we're going to do some trolling here. And then we're going to see what we can catch. We're going to start trolling. I forgot my dang rod holder. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Alright, we're falling apart here. Okay, so we've got about a half hour till the sun sets ish. And uh, I'm gonna use the deep diver until it gets closer to the sun setting and then I'm gonna switch to my walleye slayer because maybe there's still, you know, you know, but it, it should be, we have a decent chance of catching some kind of fish. It's a nice warm day, they should be biting. We are trolling. Now we just need a fish because we do want to fish dinner. We got something special planned for fish. We do need fish. We need nom noms. Still bright. I thought it wasn't that bright for a second, but I still need my sunglasses. I swear I just had a bite. I I was <clears throat> I wasn't looking, but I swear out of the corner of my eye I saw. And I haven't touched ground once. So, I think we just had a bite. Got a snag. I lost the Charger Slayer, unfortunately. So I'm switching to a jointed floater, a walleye. If 
if I go on a day adventure tomorrow, maybe take Monty. It depends on the wind. Because if it's like it is today, all of the paddling is straight into the wind, especially when I get to the lake that I would like to get to. And it'd be just fighting into the wind. And fishing in that is even just like, ugh. Nothing, we suck at fishing. It's not your fault. Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. Funk just said, I said we suck at fishing. She said, it's, she said it's not my fault. She said it's Aaron's. What do you got to say about that, Funk? I told her. She thinks she's so funny. I'm gonna slowly make my way back. I'm not too hopeful right now. I'm thinking about doing a day adventure tomorrow to the lake we were supposed to go to. I might just go solo if no one else wants to go and just book it all the way there, try to catch some fish for dinner, and then come back. Oh, beaver, please. I just went down to look at my map, and I had a fish on, and then it just, it was on for a second, and then it was gone. Yeah. That might mean that there's walleye in this lake. Huh. I brought the gulp leeches and slip bobbers, so I might try one of those. You can even do that from camp. It's just the wind's kind of blasting us in the face, so you have to just keep resetting it. It'd be nice if we had it so we could just leave it out. Huh? You got a fish? Get it in the net over the boat. You got it? What is it? She's got a fish. I'm coming. Good, good job. <laughs> the first fish. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a bass! Perfect! So there is bass in this lake. That's good to know. I was just talking about doing a day adventure. Now we don't have to. There's bass here. Yeah. Perfect, good job. Thank you. We can have fish dinner. Maybe we'll have it tomorrow, so we need to try to get one more. For fish dinner. So. Aaron caught a bass. That means there's bass here. Um, maybe, yeah, it's true. It could be. Um, Funk broke our tent pole. <laughs> it was a collective effort of me and her breaking it. And uh, now we have to use our hammocks. I could. We're gonna try to repair it tomorrow. We could have done it today, but it's definitely warm enough. We got, I got my two big tarps that we're gonna try hammock camping. The only thing we're concerned about is the uh, rain is really, wind is really driving and if it rains, it'll, the dogs might get a little wet. But the dogs can always go in Aaron's tent. So, we're just gonna see here.
Hi, little Rugus. Hi, buddy. How you liking that hammock, huh? You liking that hammock, huh? Yeah, are you comfy in there? Oh, you're comfy, aren't you? You didn't want to get out. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, he's in. Monty doesn't like hammocks, but Ruger seems to like them. Oh, that's a good boy. Yes. Good boy. All right. Um, so we heard some thunder, and there was a good chance it was going to storm tonight. So we battened down the hatches. I put stakes and held down to block the wind because the wind's blasting from this side. We've got both tarps set up. Aaron's going to join us, and we're all going to hammock out here tonight. Uh... Burger is just loving life in the hammock. And now, to keep Monty off the ground, I think I'm going to give him my cot in this sleeping pad. So he's going to be all comfy. And we're going to probably put him right here. And we'll see if Burger wants to sleep with Funk. But, since we're having a storm, we decided to not have a... Uh, a fire. We're just going to have spaghetti tonight and cook up our fish dinner tomorrow and try to catch another fish or two. Hammock dog now. Oh, Ruger's a hammock dog. Oh, is he a hammock dog? Yeah. This is a bad angle for you. You're not gonna like this. You need to put your butt down on that side. You'll learn. You need some food, Monty? You need some hungry? You need some hungry? All right. Let's get your food first, huh? Water. Watch out, Monty. No idea. Remember, that was a full bag. That yep. was last time. Pitch! Gazoontite. Gazoontite. Yeah, you just. He was fine until his face crossed over the hammock. Yeah. Are you eating food? Oh, and he just got up in your grill? Uh, he's like, let me get that. I think I am ready for this skeddy. Okay. I got eight ounces of our homemade dehydrated spaghetti. I made it extra special this time. I, I didn't, I will, if it's way more delicious, um, I am going to, I'll probably make a new video, but I definitely made it different this time. Made it way more just pure sauce, no chunks. Kind of blended it down. So we're going to see. Got a, mm, oh yeah. What was that? What was that? It was me. Oh. All right. And then I, yeah, like he's doing. And then I pull it off and put the lid on. And let it hydrate for like 10 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this batch was extra, extra saucy. Yeah. Like I said, I pureed everything, even like the meat. So it's just like a delicious sauce. So, 
it should be just purely saucy here. We'll see how it looks, because I made mine extra soupy like I always do. And I'm about to pull this off here and then let it reheat. Alright, I'm just going to let this rehydrate. And we're going to set up Monty's sleep spot. And we'll see if that works. Oh, that's a, that's a couple pounds of spaghetti right there. Pass me the pad of judgment. It's not flipped out all the way. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's not flipped out? Yeah, it's one more way. Oh, perfect. Oh, that is that is joyous for a doggy. All right, Monty, come here. Monty. Here, Monty. Monty. Oh. Come here, Monty. Up, up. Oh, that was instant. Oh, Ruger's up there too. Let's see what I got here. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's some saucy spaghetti. Oh yeah. Let's eat. It looks kind of hot. Mine is hot. Oh, so spicy. Yeah. Mm. What is it? What'd you say? Blender? Immersion American? blender. Yeah. Is it immersion blender or immersion? Immersion. Immersion. <sighs> well, I am just gonna eat this entire bowl of spaghetti, clean up the rest of my crap, put away any food or anything, and then uh, we're gonna get ready to get get to bed here so I'll check back in with you guys when it's bedtime. All right I'm in my hammock. Um, Ruger twitches when he sleeps and he kept just twitching and it would make Funk twitch and she got like it would, it would make her like jump scare every time and he does it every like 10 seconds so she decided that Ruger had to sleep but now Ruger is heartbroken and all he wants to do is sleep in the hammock so we'll have to figure that out but he's a twitcher. Monty's just accepted his new king palace, but it's time to pass out. Aaron's asleep already. We gotta catch some fish and have a big old fish dinner tomorrow, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Alrighty. Hey, Rugus. Oh, jeez, Rugus. Ah. Rugus. Come here, Rugus. Rugus. Rugus, come here. What is that, a stick? It's too early. I said no. It's the perfect time. Rugus. Is this your stick? Rugus. Come here, Rugus. Come here, Rugus. Hi, come here, Rugus. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jeez. Oh, it is just windier than it's been the whole time today. Oh, it's gotten windy every day. Windier. So, windier and colder. Um, so, uh, it started raining last night, and I had to, Aaron and Funk were getting a little wet, so I had to, like, put the stakes and 
Dude, we gotta figure stuff out. Yeah. You were passed <laughs> out snoring and I was feeling yeah. little, little raindrops. <laughs> but it was also like we weren't really getting wet because it was so windy. It was like it was drying as soon as it hit us. Did you feel any? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do the same. I was like, yeah. once I put my head at like up a little higher, I was like, well, up here I really can't yeah. feel it. So. Definitely wake me up if there's any problems like that. Yeah. Don't just ignore the. And then I was looking at this tarp, and it was it was blowing like up. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, night, the wind like just got. I was surprised you didn't wake up because your tent or your tarp was so just quiet. And then over here, the one above Aaron was just like. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Just like so loud, I was just like this. I thought for sure that there like a string broke or something. Here's your plugged in. So oh my god! Like, I was like, Fugs just sitting there like. Yeah. Oh my god! I, that's exactly what I looked like. I was just like peering around over and over. I was just like, oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, that's so good. And then I was just like, I gotta wake up. My hair is just looking so beautiful. <laughs> it is just... I mean, that's... That's just beautiful. Look at that. That is just nature's... Nature's hairstyling gel has been applied. Alright, well... Ruger is just hounding me. So I'm probably gonna... Oh, I just farted. I'm gonna get up here and put some layers on because it's definitely chillier now. So, yeah, let's go. Let's die. Breakfast? You hungry? You want some food? You poop at the dog park? Kurgs. Twirl. Monty, twirl. Monty, twirl. Twirl, Monty. Come on, twirl. Twirl, Monty. There you go, good. Alright, sit. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good boys. Over there, yep. That is the sloppiest eating Monty. Oh. Alright, so we've got a gorgeous day. Ah, oh, the sun's kind of out. I need, I need my sunglasses. But uh, it was supposed to be rainy all day and it was insanely windy. So right now we're just cutting across to the little island near camp and there's a whole drop off that should be blocked by the wind so we're starting there but if the wind stays down like this I'll I'll venture around all over the lake so I'm just gonna start for a little bit here and yeah we're definitely gonna fish instead because we need fish we want we we could we have the stuff for two fish dinners it just depends if we catch them we still got that fish from last night roots. Um, we would need like three more fish if we want to do both fish dinners and give the dogs some fish. So, that's the mission right now. We've got some nice down trees. Now that I know that there's bass, that could mean other fish. We're going to cast the old Mr. Twist. Roger. First cast. Sit down. 
Sit down, Riggs. Nope, 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 nope. Sit. Sit. I got stag roots. Yeah, so we didn't eat breakfast or anything. We just came out fish and just kind of woke up. Didn't have a little, little hot beverage. Oh, it's shallow here too. Dang it. I can find where the drop on this. I think I'm going to fish on where, where Funk's at outside of the wind. I feel like blowing around. It's just like, now it's just starting to gust me and the wind's picking back up. It's definitely shallow here. Ruger is still, uh, he's getting better with the boat except for fishing. Fishing is still, uh, <laughs> he, he thinks the throwing of this is like me throwing a toy constantly no matter what I tell him. But we're just out here right now. This is like perfect. Nice contrast. It's like a perfect fall day right now. It's starting to get into the temperatures that I love. We got back from fishing and we saw some rain. So right now we're just working on securing the fortress from the high winds and the rain. Oh, I did it backwards. Yeah. Well, it's still pretty out there. It's definitely, we're getting some rain right now, but. Hey, Rooks. It's gonna be off and on rain. So far, I'll show you the fortress we got going before I tuck away this camera. Just, we had the tarp situation and the wind was blasting us, so we've got nice secure walls over here. We've still got our three hammocks. All the wind's coming from this way. So, it's pretty nice in here. Pretty much almost fully wind blocked. We can just pile some gear bags in those little spots and all the tarps are all angled so that the, yeah, it's pretty good. We're just doing the final wind blocks and then we'll be set. Oh, Rugus. Look at your little eyes. Look at your eyes, Rugus. All right, so we're. We're just inside snacking and making some food. We never ate breakfast, so we're kind of making uh, stuff. But Aaron has. That looks like. But this is refried beans. Uh, Aaron's going to try making us some kind of burrito something or other, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheese. I'll eat whatever. I'm Bean not picky. Bean and cheese. Bean and cheese burritos. Aaron's got the refried beans heated up with chunks of sharp cheddar. She's warming up the tortillas. And then we got some sliced cabbage and white onions. And then I think she's got rice and beans steeping that we're gonna put on it and then some hot sauce. Oh yeah, that looks like my underwear earlier. Oh yeah, cheesy refried beans. Oh, onions. Right, there's her cabbage. First one up. That's mine? Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Let's Rice see what we got here. One funk funk. Rice and beans. Alright. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Oh yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, heading out fishing. We've been doing a lot of relaxing today. Just kind of hanging out, you know? Nice, easy going trip. Embracing the company and stuff. But it is time to go catch a fish. Time to get out there. I'm also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go paddle it. Wind is shifting again. Oh. Spots that let us some shallower drop offs where I can go cast or find somewhere where there's maybe some bass hold up where I can get out of this dang wind and cast. Because even earlier, when we, when me and Funk were sitting there casting the shoreline, it was like the wind was swirling all around. Couldn't escape it. This way. Uh, we're gonna troll for quite a ways here. I'm gonna go past some drop-offs. I got an island going by. Uh, I definitely want to fish. So we're gonna troll for quite a ways, and I think I'm gonna troll towards it. Looks like there's a spot where it's like a deep hole with two pinch points. And I think the little pinch points right before that deep hole is cut off by the land. That should be some good fishing. So I'm gonna make my way over there. It's pretty far. It's not horrible. But it'll be a minute before we get there. Dang it! I got a snag. I lost my lure. And now it's raining and I don't didn't bring my rain gear. Like a dingbat. Oh, it's so windy. Oh. Jeez. Still will to get out of this wind. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's just gonna... I think I might get a little wet. Oh, boy. I don't know, those clouds look a little bubbly. A little rainy. It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll survive. I'll be just fine. Wait, is that? Oh, that, I thought that was thunder. It's my dang water bottle. Anyways, where I pointed out, it's downpouring over there. So I am just, not the best option to not bring my rain gear when it's just like cloud. I mean, look at it out there. Who in their right mind would go out in this when it's like 50 degrees out and not bring their rain gear? <laughs> Uh, a smart person would see that and be like, oh, I should definitely get my rain gear ready. Or maybe head back to camp because I'm not wearing it. What I'm going to do is paddle straight towards it. And, who cares? Let's go. Oh, oh I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to catch a fish. Three snags. Three lost lures, zero bites, and it's drizzling without rain gear. Oh, this is going swell. Oh, grumble, grumble. It just seems like there's no end to the wind. I went around a big island to the right and it's just been in my face the entire time. Where is this wind coming from? Tell me so I can go there. <laughs> it's wet. Oh man, this is dumb.
I didn't think I'd lose so many. So now we've got a chartreuse slayer, kinda. Oh, just fishing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. just love this. He'd be so happy. Like, Dad, what are we doing? What? What? But he is probably passed out under our little tarp city. Just cozy, getting fed treats. I'm trying to catch him more. That's all I'm out here doing. Tremonti. We're almost, uh, we're to this little pocket here that has choke points. Oh, jeez. Yeah, what's up? It's my bass on the floor with the clip and one of the goldfish. You caught a bass? Nice job. Good job. Yeah, I'm starting to lose you. I think I'm too far away from camp now. Yeah. I think we've reached the limits. It looks like I'm maybe a mile. No, oh, more than a mile. I'd say I'm about a mile and a half, two miles away from camp, maybe. So those go pretty decent. Can't tell if that's. I see like a massive. I think that might be a beaver pool. I'm gonna try to cast here if it is. I'm just gonna cast the trolling lure. Oh, it looks so calm over here. Oh, okay. All right, this is what we wanted. It's nice and calm and the rain's just started. At least it's not pelting me in the face this time. It's just like a light drizzle. Oh, I think that's a massive beaver home over there on the shore. I prefer if it was a rock slide, but if it's still a beaver home and a cast near it. Oh, it's definitely a big old beaver home. It's a real stinky beaver uh, watching me. He is gonna He's gonna come behind me somewhere and I think he's gonna... Oh, is this a fish? Oh, it's a fish. What is this? A pike. Hey. <laughs> I got a fish. There we go. No, I'm not eating pike. That's a little too skinny. Funk I got by the radio that we got another bass. So we don't need this guy. See ya. Nice. All right. All right, we've confirmed that there's bass and pike in this lake. Look at that. It's a big old, big old beaver home. They're getting ready for winter. They gotta make all this, get all these sticks so that they can make it so they can access the water. All winter long. I'm not. I feel like they make it so it's not frozen. They have water access all year long, but like, they gotta insulate that pretty well. At least I think that's what they do. I'm pretty sure. You know, get a big old. They need this a big supply of sticks for winter. You know, you're paddling all that way, pretty much across the entire lake. I thought I would just get a spot that was out of the wind. Nope. Nope. Oh well. And uh, that took me long enough that I've got 50 minutes until it's completely dark. That was a, that was a greaser. Whew. I want to leave a stain. I'm not careful. Yeah, so I don't have enough time to... <laughs> I don't have enough time to sit here and fish this. I pretty much get to troll around this little pocket once, and then I gotta head back to camp. I don't, 
I don't got a headlamp and it's gonna be hard to see regardless. Yeah. But also, we got two fish, so we do have what we need for dinner. It would just be nice to catch some fish for tomorrow so we could have two fish dinners in a row. Because one, they're gonna be different things. But we've got a, we got a delicious one for tonight. I have been excited and waiting for this. This beaver, I don't know if you can even see him. Old stinker. Right up there. Oh, oh, somebody's like literally right there. Just following me. <laughs> Hasn't splashed or anything, just lurking. Closely watching. Making sure that I'm not trying to do any funny business. Found the calmest part of the lake and it's too shallow up there i went up there and it was just got shallow instantly so i can't even go next to it yeah just stay out here but we definitely we've got 45 minutes till darkness with these clouds the sun is you can kind of see maybe off these trees we're within more than 15 minutes of it setting and it's gonna once it sets then we get dark quick. So I gotta start making my way back. And now that I'm looking at it closely, it looks like I might not be able to get through up here. In which case, I was hoping to do kind of a loop back and go through this, but I have to go all the way back. Oh no. If I can't get through up here, I gotta like paddle. Gosh, I don't think I can get through up here. <sighs> nope. That is land. Dang it. Alright. Oh. Well, that's just disappointing. Alright, I guess we are uh, cruising to get back to camp now. Oh boy. <laughs> At least it's like, it's actually starting to get a little clearer as it's getting the sunset. Like, look at it out here. It's like not that wispy clouds, they're kind of breaking up. You can see more blue in the sky. Funk caught like three fish and lost like two or three sitting at camp and I'm going across the entire lake and don't catch a single thing. Barely get here before dark. Oh. Back up, back up, back up. Monty, you're too aggressive right now. Please back up, back up. Monty, you're so aggressive. Oh. This is the most aggressive I've ever seen Monty. All right, speak. Speak. Oh, speak. Okay, good point. River, speak. 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 Okay, good boy. There you go. Good boys. <laughs> Monty was so aggressive for that tree. Yeah, that's not, he's going to need to be dry to stay warm. Wet is bad. Monty's wet, or dry. Let's see your little feet. Yeah, that's dry, Monty. You're, you've done a good job. Let's see this thing. Oh, yeah, that's dry. This one? This one's, this one's dry. Oh, so it's starting to rain, and we're just chilling in the tent uh, since it's like raining out it's definitely getting chillier we're feeling the temperature drop uh, we are gonna cook our dinner under the tarp city here with our stoves 
because yeah we don't want to it's just the camp the fire is just the fire spot is getting just blasted by wind still like it feels calm because we're in here but it's just wet and cold and windy out there so yeah right Monty he's actually accepting life right now he didn't like the hammock earlier but right now Monty's just kind of accepted what it is Marty, look at your two first. Look at your two first. <laughs> look at these little teefers. Monty, you can't close your mouth. Me and Monty are the only things laying around right now. This? We're having carrots for dinner. They're going in the the curry. The curry? Curry, I'm hungry. Ha <laughs> ha. That was that was a bad joke. Curry up, I'm hungry. Oh, um, I can use this pan over here. Here's this mean, for the rice. No. This is for the curry, like the soup part. Yeah, that's um, the, that's the whole thing. We just needed to add it directly. Okay. You don't have to yell at me. That's good. <laughs> Please don't ever question me again, Bob. Oh, that is a close <laughs> call. And... milk and brown sugar there's not much that can be made in the woods that I would not enjoy I think I've I don't think there's been a thing I've Red mm. Funk's cutting up sweet potato for the boys Das pas Maybe yours is, uh... Maybe we yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah, I don't like this. What's wrong with my thing? Turn it on low. It's not sturdy enough for a big load. Oh, turn it on low for the rice? Yeah, and put yours over here. Okay, put mine over here. Still doesn't feel that sturdy, but... Actually, wait one more uh, second. No. Is that Why bad? Does it smell like that. I don't know. It's too hot, maybe. Coconut oil has a pretty high smoke point. I'm surprised. Fire is pretty. Like, yeah, here, hot. let me. There. Where's, where's the handle? Alright, you're in charge of simmering the dog. water you could use. You need a spatula or anything? Um, might be nice, yeah. And then we'll, that's, that's, you know, that's the stuff. We still got brussels and potatoes, don't we? Yeah, we can do that with fish or whatever, spaghetti or whatever we eat tomorrow. Yeah, we'll just eat it all tomorrow. We'll just make a jambalaya of what's left. What's that, green? That's the curry paste? Yeah. Green curry paste. Nice. Oh, it's it gonna be like spicy in your lungs. Is it? Yep. Probably. The pea soup from the exorcist. Oh. Wait. I don't have any more coconut. What is that? That's a little close to the curry for comfort. Did we not have any more coconut oil? Mm. 
not that. I think it's that it's not level. Uh, just do like up. a splash or two. That's good. So we can turn it up now. All right, more. More. All right. Yeah, let's just put it all in. That's one, that's half. Yep, give me the next one. Yeah, all of it? Yep. No sense in saving it. You said you wanted a feast. <laughs> feast. That's gonna be a hefty amount of curry, huh? Ooh, I hope there's enough curry paste in there. That's what I was just thinking. It looks a little mil milky white. Oh no. No, it's okay. You sure? Yeah. You sure it's okay? Oh yeah, that's oh, okay. super flavorful. Like, oh, okay. Don't worry, it still tastes really good. I'm scared. Yeah. Mud butt's fine. Monty doesn't mind. That's how their guts feel. So Funk's cooking up the sweet potato for the boys. My camera's getting foggy. We got the rice cooking. Aaron's over here on curry duty. So once the rice is done, or the boys, we're gonna get the fish pan frying. And then once that's ready and the rice is good, we're gonna eat. It's gonna be delicious. That is our Thai curry. The camera is just so foggy. Oh, it's getting better. So we might actually just... All right, the boys are gonna get a whole filet, because they're the best. I'm just gonna cook that up. Okay. I apologize for my transgressions against society. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just gonna put some salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Erin basically said she hates Montreal, so we're not. Ooh. This looks like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Me? I love Montreal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, trying to get, Montreal is like saying you hate Montreal. I'm just yeah, I'm just trying to get people to attack. Is this, click, this is clickbait. <laughs> is it anti air You know what? It doesn't matter because every time I go camping with you guys, people are just like, wait a minute. Funk? Yeah. Aaron? Aaron Funk? Or? We're going without the pepper. Okay. We're just gonna salt the fish. Oh my god, this is crazy. Monty is creaching. Beat it, nerd. Skinny blade. A little salt on there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Perfect muscle. Blah, 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 curry. All right, we just got to fry up the fish. And we're good. You a weirdo? Okay. Jeez. It's just not, it's like sticking so much, it's not gonna get brown. We should have just, oh, we should just fry it in oil. Normally I just do this over the fire where it's all even. adding brown sugar to the curry. Is it light brown or dark brown? Just regular. What? Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's no fire under it. A little 
definitely make sure it's cooked. All right, we're almost done butter frying our fish here. And then once we're doing this, we're gonna just serve up our curry and it's food time. Oh my God. That's There's too much rice. <laughs> All right, Funk, how much rice do you want? I don't want a bunch. Oh, this Fine. is a lot of That's rice. Good. That's a raw, <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, that's insane. We're gonna have extra rice Boys for rice and beans. Rice? Um, like, I don't want that. you're eating out of that one, Aaron? Yeah. How much rice do you want? Tell me when to stop. That's good. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and then add curry to yours. You guys take it, just take a hefty portion, and I'm just gonna dump rice into that and eat out of that. I feel like I gotta like scoop the veggies out first. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get get some fish going. There's some fish. Okay. Here's the fish. I'm definitely gonna do this off of these. Oh, oh, I think uh, some it some needs of more vegetables yeah on vegetables there. need to come out. Father, okay. You think that's good? I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. Funk, is that enough for you? Oh my god, that looks like a slop <laughs> bucket of food. This oh, yours yeah. is the tiniest amount. Okay. Do you want more than that? No, that is plenty. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So no, that was a lot of food. This is. I'm pumped. This is a lot as well. It's okay. We might have leftover. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm gonna add my fish. Oh no. I just dropped some of my fish on the ground. Dirt never hurt. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a smallmouth bass Thai curry. Let's feast. Wow. The dogs is still cooling, so they don't get their mangled mush yet. Let's go ahead and mix some of this in. Oh, I'm gonna smash this whole thing easily. This is a non-threatening bowl of food. <laughs> Did you get enough? Mm-hmm. Funk, you got enough? You sure? Mm-hmm. All right, well, if you guys need more, let me know. But I'm about to taint it with my mouth, so. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Hot? Hot. <laughs> well, that is a little spicy. That's gonna get me. The fish is so perfect. Yeah, it actually is a nice little salty bite. I just had like a crispy end tail piece of a fish. Mmm. Mm. I was happy we got to wait till today because it's the coldest day. I didn't want to eat this yesterday when it was warm. Mm -hmm. It's so much better on a cold day. Monty, so much better. I'm sorry, your food is cooling. Don't talk to him. I'm just drawing more attention to the fact that he's not eating. He's like, would you please just. Give me what I would deserve. Ruger's actually being the most patient soul ever. I think he's just exhausted. He's tired. Yeah, Ruger's like falling asleep right now. He's already resigned to bedtime. 
He's gonna start hammock lurking soon. It's hot. The carrots yeah, are hot. Got, you got the like boiling pan. Yeah, mine's perfect. Ah! It's got cool. Oh my gosh. Um. Watch out, Auntie. Not yet. Just chilling. Auntie, you are aggressive. All right, Monty, your mangled mush is ready. You've been a little monster. Monty, you've been the most aggressive I've ever seen in, my whole, in your whole life towards this food. He's been pushy, he's been shoving, he's been following. Look at him. That's, that's the look of a monster. You don't even look real. Hey, Monty. Monty, I'm over here. He was, he's blinded by the light. All right, go ahead. <laughs> he was looking off to the left because the light's so bright. He couldn't see. <laughs> and then I talked to him. He was like, oh, there you are over there. So, I smashed all my curry. We ate all of it. Um, we did have some leftover rice, but we ate all of that, and it was real spicy. But uh, the wind has completely died, and it is clear skies, and it is actually getting pretty chilly. Um, so it was like it's funny because after we're done and we're about to, we're like cleaning up, and it's just got still. You can't even hear any wind now, but it's getting chilly. We built this whole fortress, but anyways, we got the dogs here. Rugus is snuggled up there. This little thing on a sleeping bag. And then you got Monty in my jacket. Being the goodest boys, burger twitches. You can see him. <laughs> He's real twitching right now. Anyways, these precious little angels will make sure they stay warm. But uh, Aaron's sleeping, Funk's reading. We're moving tomorrow. We gotta go across a big lake. We'll see if the wind stays calm or it'd be nice to finally have a day where the wind isn't blasting. So we could actually just paddle and relax on the water rather than just fight wind the whole time. But uh, anyways, I'm passing out. I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Buenos dias, Rugus.
stinky out there. Rained some last night. I didn't sleep the best. Cause funk. She was ripping logs. Anyways, uh, Rugus. It was raining here. We just uh, waited out the rain a little bit. Winds picked back up a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. My hat hair is just getting just better every day. Wow. Look at that. Anyways. We're just going to kind of get packed up here and uh, make breakfast. Kind of try to do it reasonable speed. And then get out of that water to pile the parts and fish and stuff. Okay, let's do it. Buddy, how's your breakfast? I said good breakfast, boy. I got him. He ran away. Oh no. And he's coming back with a weapon. I just have a bit of a headache, you know? Bring it here. Oh, Monty stole it. Bring it here, Rooks. Bring it here, Rooks. Get it. Get it from Monty, Rooks. Get it, Rooks. Bring it here. Bring it here. Get him, Rooks. Go get the stick, Rooks. No, 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 no. Go get the stick. Find the treat at the dog park, Monty? Did you hear they have treats at the dog park? There's a buy one, get one free sale of treats at the dog park, Monty. Yeah, buy one, get one free. And they have sticks, and they go for to the dog park outside and they get the buy one, get one free deal for treats at the dog park. Treats at the dog park. Treats at the dog park. Do you know how to tilt your head any other way? Do you know how to tilt it to the left or is it just the right? You can only tilt it to the right? Why is that, Monty? Why does Monty only tilt his head to the right? Monty, do you tilt left? No, you only tilt right? Okay. Do you wanna, do you wanna, um, do you want to get in the boat and then we'll go paddle to a new spot and then you can throw a stick? Or do you want... Get him out Get him! Get him, Monty! Get him, Monty! Star Wars, you know? Roll, roll, piss, hey, hold, hold, hold. Get him, Auntie. Get him, Ruger. Get him. Oh. Get him, Auntie. Get him, Auntie. Get him, Roots. Get him. Get him. You're here, y'all. Crazy. You're <laughs> zooming. <laughs> Oh, he just got in the water. He just ran into the water. He's like, my team won't come in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. in the face of the stick. I just like, oh dear. I can't believe we've done this, Rooks. I can't believe we're actually going to be paddling with the wind today. Don't jinx it, babe. Too late, just did it. Don't. But don't we go around a bend? Yes. So once we get around the bend... 
What's taking forever? I said, I feel like I'm taking forever. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Great job, Aaron. <clears throat> A lot of extra paracord, eh? It's all good. And that thing. Yeah, we use we use so much paracord. Played fish there. Uh, well, I wouldn't know, but you know, I'm not. Multi. 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 Oh, he's got an itchy little face. Could be the greatest day yet. All right. We are off. A beautiful fall day. Beautiful. All right, Rugus. Rugus, you gotta sit down. You gotta sit down. Sit down, buddy. Deadlifting a Monty over there? Yeah. All right, we are finally getting to paddle with the wind on the last full day of the trip. We got beautiful blue skies, nice cloud sunshine, perfect temperature. I had my battle suit on. Um, I had to take the jacket off. Got a little toasty there for a second, so wait until I get chilly again, but patrol line. Since we're going with the wind, and we can just cruise all casually down. See if we pick something up on the way. And if we do catch one or two, we're gonna try for another fish dinner. Because last night's was delicious. Tonight's gonna be even as delicious. This is what it's all about. was still just going further and further and I was like, oh god.
There, easy peasy. Did you have fun shooting these rapids, Funk? Let Funk record ya. Going down. Blue skies, nothing but blue skies. Baby, blue skies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I might do another trip here in a couple weeks. Uh, because it's just a taste and I want more. And I might bring either my brother or Captain Tiny Trout, Captain T Trout. I can't believe I called him Captain Tiny Trout. It sounds way weirder than T Trout. Um, but yeah. And I was even considering, I swung the idea of bringing out the hot tent in the canoe. Maybe I'll bring both of them if they want to go. That'd be interesting. That would be interesting. Maybe we'll do that. Then we could we'd have an easier time carrying the hot tent stuff. Um, but yeah, I definitely I think it's gonna happen. I'd like to go when it's pretty cold out. But if we have the hot tent, sometimes it can be pretty rough if it's like 34 degrees and driving rain. We had that with Jake that one night, so we'll see. But I definitely want to because right now I'm just getting into the trip, you know, and we're on our last day. You're being such a good boy. I feel like you're figuring it out. Now you finally understand. You're being so good. You're being like a Monty. You understand, Rude. The first day you were a little, you're doing good, and then you were squirrely, and now you're just, you get it. Oh, man. It is just gorgeous today. This is, like, perfect. And we get to paddle on this big old lake with the wind, like, at our backs. Oh don't get better than this we do got some scary looking clouds back there but I'm not sure if it's gonna rain or not definitely a chance it's supposed to rain today there's a lot of dark clouds in the sky but it's just like not many of them look like they've got rain attached but those kind of oh that does look like rain oh yeah that might be real rain <laughs> oh yeah that might be a downpour. Hey, you guys should pick up the pace. Uh, it looks like that might be downpour rain. All right, we're on it. She had a snag, but we're coming. The more I look back there, if it looks a little rainy. <laughs> We're like the biggest part of the lake right now. Oh boy. Well, if, uh, if it gets too crazy, we're just gonna pull over. We gotta make it past this section first because right now we're about to be out in the open. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's wet. We're trying. <laughs> Folks just heard rumble. <laughs> that looks so sketchy. Oh boy. Dude, it, lo it looks like death. <laughs> that, 
I think that's gonna pass us, but that looks like complete just downpour. I mean, we're just, we're heading straight on the path, but once it gets close, we're just, we're just trying to at least get close enough to these islands to where we can just hide on one if it hits. We just need to get across this section here. Nope. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, yeah. We're gonna get dumped on, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Oh, the sky has started dark. Oh, geez, I hope I don't catch fish right now. All right, right, what we're doing, she heard thunder. It just looks like it's about to downpour. We're, there's an island up ahead. We're gonna go uh, sit on for a minute. Folk doesn't even have a rain gear handy. <laughs> It just looks, it doesn't look good. to uh, get windy. Oh, jeez. I do not like, I do not want the waves to push you to your side here.
and intense. Oh no. This is intense.
Alright, I need you to grab this rope and get this pole. It's, I threw it in the water here. I have nothing. I lost my boots. I lost my boots. Get on whatever you need to get warm. How much? I don't know if I can go. Not go out there, Jason. I'm going to try. No! Yeah. the tough part I gotta get this boat how am I gonna get this thing I'm basically gonna have to just wait for it to get to shore that's all I can do I can't really dink with it right now these waves. I'm gonna go try to cut it off. Oh jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up behind this island here and I am going to wait for this to go. Push it close. I don't know if you can hear me, but that was, uh, well, not good. <laughs> oh man, uh, so I don't really know what we're gonna do right now. Uh, so the weather picked up out of nowhere and like we saw it coming, probably was not a good idea for me to have us go across that big part because it, it came on quick and Erin went straight into the shore and she went onto the windy side. So she kind of got like pushed up and she like frantically got out of her boat and it's her first time out here. So that was not good. We should have definitely, now it's thundering. We should have definitely stayed and waited, but like I thought we could make it across and well we did and we got, I made it to where I was safe. Oh, that's thunder, that's not good. And uh, Funk just couldn't get her boat straight. And when you get side to the side, she got rolled. And then as soon as she rolled, that's when I like got frantic. I threw my pole and I tried to turn around. I was, I was turning around to go that way and turning in those waves like, I, sh I should not have probably gone back because she was fine, she was in her life preserver. But I was just, you know, I was more worried about her than I was myself. And I just got, I flipped. But I should have, if I would have just went to shore, threw my stuff out rather than go out there, I could have caught her boat before it blew away down here. Because right now I'm trying to look for her boat and I was following it, but now I don't see it, and that's not a good sign. Uh, if her boat's not 
We're just gonna have to pray that it's up on one of these shores. It was floating and I was following it until I got caught in this wind here. And now I can't really go do anything. But I grabbed some of her gear, but her main gear bag is in her boat. And that thing shouldn't sink. Oh, this is just not a good situation. But I threw out my gear bag, the dogs, all of them are okay. They're all fine. Um, right now I gotta figure out where I am exactly. Leave. I'm way down here. But I'm pretty much gonna be stuck here. If I don't see this canoe. bag there's nothing I can do I can't get that so what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can get back to them with my bag uh, there's there's nothing I can do with that boat we're gonna have to we're gonna have to set up the tent on that island where they're at and we're just gonna have to get dry and wait we can't do anything in this wind I just gotta hope I can make it back if it's too windy. I might be just sitting out here. Uh, it's like a bump on a pickle. Okay, it looks like the sky is clearing. I'm really hoping the wind dies down because I still see Funk's boat out there. What I'm gonna do is chill here for a minute. I'm gonna kinda do some jumping jacks and get a little warm because I'm getting a little, my hands are a little cold. I'm a little chilly because it's like, 50 degrees out and I went for a swim and I haven't warmed up yet but I'm gonna get out here move around give it about 10 to 20 minutes if the wind dies down I'm going to go out and try to get Funk's boat pull it to shore tie it to my boat and pull it back to them if it doesn't die down um, I'm probably gonna just battle my way through the wind back to them because I'm sure I'm hoping at least Funk was cold they're probably getting the tent set up I hope everything's A-OK -okay there, but they should be fine. They have my gear bag, they have Aaron's gear bag, they have everything they need to just get dry and warm. And they're, they're not going anywhere, that's for sure. Oh, my butt's cold. Went and got Funk's yes. boat. So my battery died, uh, but I was out there. I saw Funk's boat finally getting out there. I had to go, I got out. Um, luckily her big bag, her big bag here was still stuck in her boat, so I pulled that out, I clipped it to here, and it was floating enough, and then I took her boat and I kinda like lifted, and I was just like leaning back, and I got all the water out as best I could, just enough, and then I flipped it, and then I tied that with that food bag, which I pulled out of the water. All of this stuff was floating in the water that I grabbed out. Then I had to, it took forever, but I paddled all the way to that shore with those two things in there, and then I, attached it and I tied it and hitched it and we're here and they're up here Ruger's okay everybody's okay I think the only things we lost so far are a couple Nalgene's and Funk's tackle box I don't think we really lost anything else I might have lost my phone I was taking pictures and I think it's gone unfortunately that sucks for me but yeah at least everyone's okay Erin's good, she didn't lose anything? No, she's a little wet, but she's dry now. Um, hi, Monty, hi! Yeah, hi! I feel like I've got pneumonia. <laughs> I've, got, I've got, like, water. So, uh, did you guys find a campsite? <laughs> Catch any fish? <laughs> I got her boat, I got her gear bag, got a bunch of her stuff. I think we only lost a few things. My bag was relatively dry, huh? I'm a little wet. <laughs> yeah, I hiked 
back from that boat up to here and then back and then again with like this much water in my boots. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I, uh, so I made it just fine. And then I, I look back and I hear funk, ah! And I look back and she flipped. So I was like, shoot! So I, I had my pole, which was making it so much harder for me. I had that line out trolling that whole time. There's nothing I can, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, once once it was like set and then the waves started getting bad, I couldn't I couldn't like stop and like do anything. I was hoping it would snap, but yeah, that's so funny though. Yeah, so like I had to like I th as soon as I saw her flip, I took my pole and I threw it onto shore. Then I yelled at Rugar. I was like, "Get get out, go go go!" He jumped out, and then I like without the weight of him in the back of my boat. As soon as I got into the big waves again, yeah. my nose was heavy and it just turned me and I immediately just rolled. I just like went Yeah, I looked back and you were already just like dragging your boat to shore and I was just, I was just telling Aaron, I was like, there's no worse feeling for like me than like dragging your boat to shore and I was just telling Aaron, I was like, there's no worse feeling for like me to see like my man who's supposed to be saving me. <laughs> <laughs> flip in the water. I was like, no, no, but I did see you get Ruger out of your boat. Like, yeah. Yeah, I did that immediately because I was like, I ain't, he's going to be fine. Uh, I was like, if I don't have to worry about him, like, I'll be fine if I flip. Oh, yeah. and, but, I mean, he would have been I fine. Flipped, like, I, the boat was like on top of my head for a second, and I had to just like do one of this so I could come up for air. <laughs> and when I came up for air, Monty was just coming up as well. Really? He was underwater for a second. And so, and he was facing away from the rocks, and he started swimming away from the island. Oh no. And so I had to grab his whole body and just like throw him like in the water like this way and I just like shoved him as hard as I could and then I saw that he was swimming to shore and then my muck boots were just like just dragging me down and so I was just Do we go to a campsite or do we go get a hotel? Hotel. I'll pay for it. <laughs> get me out of here. Alright, then let's pack up and get moving. Everything's so f***ing wet and heavy. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let I'll allow this. I'm okay with this. I'm a little wet and cold right now, as you can see. I'm gonna need a pair of pants. Hi, Monty. How was that experience, huh? It's like, well, Dad. Oh boy. Yep. We're gonna be sitting here for a bit. Huh? Yeah, the wind's picking back up, so we gotta relax until this passes. Well, we're still stuck here. It's hailing, I got the boats back. It's gotten crazy again. So we gotta wait this out and then we're gonna move. Look at how insane it is out there. I don't even know if this camera's picking that up. But it is like a whiteout, you can't really see. And we are stuck here. We gotta, I don't like these, these aren't. Oh. Yeah, but as soon as this clears, we got to move. Cause we had it calm there for a minute. Like when I went and picked, the, I got the boats. That was so chaotic. And we're just, we're just waiting right now. We're all packed up. We're just gonna be chilling. You got to experience Two seasons and adversity, all in three days. How does it feel? <laughs> hey, Rooks, you having fun? He's like, yeah, this is actually this interesting. Is unpleasant. Ruger's the only one that didn't really go swimming. Yeah. Right, Rooks? Monty, <laughs> Monty. That was the first real flip Monty's ever been in. Hey. Buddy. Well, I started it when we like were going and then like the wind started to pick up. There's nothing well, I, mean, I could I do. I it, but it creates so much drag. 
Oh, dude, it was that was making my situation so sketchy because I was fighting to go to the right to be with the waves, and the line because I had almost all my line out, it was just pulling me left. So no matter how hard I tried to go right, it just pulled me back left. Yeah. So yeah, I. It's not the last time I've been fishing in sketchy stuff like that. So how do I even out the weight with my bag being a billion times heavier now? It was already a problem. You can give Erin your bag in the back of her boat. And then, and then you take her bag. Oh. Look at that, full rainbow. That's what we were, we earned. We earned it. All right, so right now we got a break. We got some more wind coming in storms, but we've only got a little bit more to go and then we're gonna be behind some a big island. And then from there, um, even if it's crazy windy, we're gonna be blocked. We got over the main part. So that was uh, interesting. I think the total losses are, I think the two walkie talkies are ruined. So that's like 350 bucks. I lost my phone because I had it. I was taking a picture. Um, I decided to take a selfie in the middle of that crazy wind back there, <laughs> which I was fine. The only reason I flipped my boat is because when Funk flipped her boat, I frantically threw my ride to the shore and then I let Ruger out because I didn't want him to have to deal with the situation. I let him get out and as soon as he got out and I got back into the crazy winds um, and the waves, my front, my nose was so heavy that I spun around and was, there was nothing I could do but get caught by the side with the waves and then I just lost balance. So that was that and honestly I probably should have, once I saw her swimming away, I should have uh, just chilled and grabbed stuff as I could, not frantically try to paddle up there. So that was not a good decision, but anyways, um, I gave them the option. I was like, you guys wanna spend the night here or go get a hotel? And they're both a little both a little bit uh, nervous now, a little freaked out. That's the first time folks ever flipped her boat, so we're gonna go get out of here and get a get a hotel for the night. Which I'm fine with. You know? Stuff happens when you party naked. But anyways, yeah, we've got, we, we still got a decent paddle to do, but a lot of it's gonna be safe. Um, yeah, things escalated quick there. I mean, one minute I was on the radio and I could see the death cloud coming and I radioed to Funk like four or five times. I was like, all right, we should probably get moving. And then it got to the point where we started the paddle and it just came on so fast and, um, once once it came on there was no turning around i mean we we, we no we could do we got caught with her pants down but yeah lost we get the two with the two radios those are like 175 each those are both dead i think they're ruined we lost two now jeans lost my phone lost funk's tackle box we lost two fishing rods. My, my two fishing poles are gone. <laughs> Other than that, I think that's it. Maybe Funk lost her net. I got her paddle back. Yeah, as soon as uh, I got her to shore and I got my gear out, I went and started gathering what I could. And like, I saw her boat and I saw a few bags and like the mat. Oh, we also lost Monty's green pad. So. Yeah, we lost some stuff there. Um, and I think there might be a couple more electronics that are ruined. It's fine. I don't really care about the stuff. As long as everyone's okay, it doesn't matter. It's just stuff. That's all I care about. So everyone's okay. And we even got most of our stuff back. I didn't think I was gonna find Funk's gear bag like that. It luckily got wedged into the boat. And luckily that thing 
floats pretty good even when it's full of gear when it's attached. If that thing was just by itself, I think it eventually got submerged enough to where it probably would have sunk, but it still had some air in there. Cause she's got enough uh, like stuff sacks, waterproof stuff sacks and stuff that held their air. So those were probably like keeping it just above water. But yeah, it was a definite pain getting that boat out. It was a pain. I had to attach it and whatever, but yeah, we're, we're okay now. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but me personally, now that it happened and everyone's okay, I'm glad that it did because I've always been curious as to what would happen if we flipped on crazy windy waters uh, with, I had my full suit on, my muck boots, and I've always wondered like, oh, I wonder how we'd handle that. And it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, luckily. I mean, it, it could still be worse and, and stuff, but like I was able to hold onto my boat and move towards shore. I wasn't sure if I would be able to move my boat at all in that crazy wind with muck boots on, but I was definitely able to pull my boat um, full of water and move it. So if that ever happens like in the middle of the lake, uh, you know, I could eventually move over. I mean, it would still suck. It would be way worse if you were in the middle of the lake, but yeah. The key there is don't let the waves catch you at the side. That's what did it. That's what did Funkin. She couldn't get her boat straight and she got flipped on her, got pushed to the side and then all it took was a way rogue wave. But curious to see what that's gonna look like on the footage. We're just gonna stick to the backs of the islands. Yeah, we're, like I said, like it's like a five. Five. Oh, you lost that one. Oh, that is a classic funk sweater. I was I was saying when you put that on, I was like, oh, she's burning. Yeah, I, like, I was like, oh, shoot, that is totally quintessential funk right there in that hoodie. Yeah, I I definitely think the the two the brand new radios trying out for the first time getting ruined. I hope was there was there was two things that led up to that happening was first you guys were dilly dallying and secondly well and then once we were dilly dallying i decided to push us through that anyways yeah. and thought we had enough time that was a second mistake yeah. that came on so fast and then once it started we couldn't turn around i got a snag I, yeah i know yeah. i'm just saying like uh yeah, i was not aware that we were supposed to be dallying. I thought we had like the wind at our back oh, and a great same. day. I was like, oh, we're going to fish seal all the way to the <laughs> I, I kept radioing funk. I kept being like, hey, we should probably move. And then as it got closer, I was like, yeah, we need to go. <laughs> Massive island. Eventually we'll get to a point where we have to go around to the left and then we'll be at the channel again. <sighs> Yeah, but even if the wind picks up, we're, we could just hide if we want to. We're not gonna be far away from shore the whole time. Yeah, that's just, those are just dark clouds. That's not the line that we had before. No. That line was. That's like, that's like, oh, gray clouds. Yeah. Before it was like such a dark gray blue. Yep. You guys sure you don't wanna go camping? I'm sure I won't. I'm just kidding. There's an island with the dead trees on. You gotta go to cut to the left and then you're in the channel. And then you know the way from there. Straight through, across, and you're at the boat launch. Well, okie dokes, folks. We've got just a little bit more paddling to do. And then we're gonna be back at the truck. And I know we're gonna spend another night out here, but you know what happened, you know the drill. So uh, we didn't get to see a moose, saw a couple loons. Definitely had a nice tasty fish dinner. Got to experience something I've never experienced before and everything's okay. And it only really costs us like 600, six to $700 worth of gear, like whatever, fine. Everyone's fine. I don't care about that at all. <laughs> it's fine, stuff can be replaced. People and dogs can't be. 
So, um, yeah, we're just gonna finish up this paddle here and we're gonna get a hotel tonight. We're gonna get a cheeseburger for everybody. Double bacon cheeseburger, the boys are gonna get one. Might have a brewski and uh, that's it. So, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys at the next video. All right, boys. You guys did really good job today. You know, you did you did a lot. Monty, you saved mom. Ruger, you saved me, okay? So I got you guys something, okay? This is for you two, all right? Ruger. Burger. Yeah, you get another piece. Good boy. Yeah. Monty, here you go. Oh, yeah. Good boys. All right. Oh!